Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to talk about the different type of people that come into network marketing because everyone's different and when you actually like look at the people that come into network marketing, how they think, how they perceive the industry, you can always categorize them into a few different areas. And when you kind of manage to figure out what type of person you're talking to or person type of person you're dealing with, you know how to help them best in their business. So let's go through some categories that I've personally come up with what I believe are different types of people that come into the industry. So first of all, the one we all know, you have the overnight success. We know the type of ones, you know, they, they see network marketing, they see people that have been successful and they instantly believe it's a get rich quick scheme. And they can literally smash it, they're excited, they join your business, they're saying all the right things. They're like, you know, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm going to the top. They're so excited, so full of energy. You know, they're on fire. They do a post on Facebook or they go and talk to one person people don't respond to their post, or someone says no to them, or someone's a bit derogatory, or someone's a bit negative, and then you don't hear from them anymore. You know, hold a minute, where's this person gone? And then you can't find them anymore. They don't reply to your messages, they're not in the group chats anymore, their energy's gone, and you're like, hold on a minute, how can one thing, one minute you're saying all the right things, and the next minute, you're nowhere to be seen. And the reason they've quit is because they've realized it's actually hard work and they're not gonna make an overnight success. And these people pop up in the industry all the time. We're gonna talk about how to help them the best at the end of this. So the next people we all know, the ones I don't like, I'm not a fan of, the shiny object chasers. These guys are easy to spot a mile off because the shiny object chasers, they're the ones that are always onto the next best thing. Every like three, six, or even 12 months, they have found the next big best thing, the next product that's gonna blow up the industry, the best comp plan out there. One day the social media will be covered in posts all on the best product, the best team, the best people, the best culture. And the next minute, you know, I found the next best thing. This thing's amazing, this thing's amazing. And they jump, they jump, they jump, they jump. People also refer to these guys as company hoppers. But there's a bit of a difference between company hoppers and shiny object chasers. Because sometimes company hoppers, some of them, they are ethical and they're just looking for the company that fits those and the products that they're passionate about. And sometimes you have to try these things before you can actually fully commit. But the shiny object chasers, they don't care about the product. They don't care about the people. They are literally in it because they want to move to the next best thing and they're easy to spot a mile off. Just look at their story, you know, in a company, love it, best thing. Facebook Live, I love it, best thing ever. Next day, can't stand it, worst thing ever I ever did. I found the next best thing and it just goes and goes and repeats and repeats and repeats. These are ones to avoid. <laughs> the next type of person that will come into your business, I call them the librarians. Now the librarians are the guys, they start the business, you know, they have reasonable levels of energy and they say to you, I'm just reading up on everything. And you pop a message that, hey, how's everything going in your business? Have you got started yet? I'm just doing some research and I'm just reading up everything until I'm confident enough to talk about it. And you're like, okay, okay, you know, anything I can help with. No, no, it's fine. I'm just researching to this product. Don't see any activity happening. A couple of weeks later, you pop a message. Hey, how's everything going? How's your business doing? I'm still just reading up on a few things, you know, a little bit more, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm, I'm nearly there of reading up on it. And you're like, you know, there's a lot to read up on, it's best to learn as you go. No, I need to do some reading first. And you're like, okay, cool. And you kind of leave into it. No major activity happens because they're still constantly reading and reading and reading and researching and researching, hence why I call these guys the librarians. The next people you'll come across are the bull in the china shops. Now there's two types of bulls. The first type is the type of bull you're looking for. They are the ones that are determined. They're gonna smash everything up. They're gonna hit their goals, they're gonna hit the targets. They know exactly what they need to do when they need to do it. They're gonna go into that china shop and they're gonna smash the shit out of everything. They're the guys that you want in your business, but you stay out their way. Because if you try to control the bull, if you try to tell them, don't go into that china shop, you know, don't do that thing, don't do that thing, then they're gonna turn the other direction. And if they do, if the ball turns into the other direction, he's gonna smash up everything in a bad way. He's not gonna smash his goals and go to the top and do amazing and you know in the business. They're gonna they're gonna smash up everything in a bad way. So make there's two types of balls. You need to know which one you're talking to. The one that's determined to focus and gonna go off into a, in a positive direction and smash all the goals down, or the ball that's gonna go to the negative direction 
and are going to break everything <laughs> and destroy everything around them. The other person are the fake it till you make it. Okay, now the fake it till you make it, they are the ones that you look at the social media, they're always in the suits, they're always in the suave, they've always got the nice quotes, the positive pictures, the, you know, the business is booming, everything's successful, they're doing so well, they're smooth, they're suave, we well, all know these guys, but in reality, there's no activity happening behind the scenes. But you can't tell that because on social media or their facade, everything's incredible. Now with these guys, we're either gonna do one or two things. We're either gonna keep up that facade forever, but never ever progress in their business. And it's gonna become obvious because they're never progressing, but they always look good. But there's gonna be other people that they don't wanna keep up the facade, so then there'll be an excuse, there'll be a reason what's happened. So you have the fake it to your makers. And then you have, finally, the professional. You have the professional that knows everything. They are the hold my bag guys, I've got this type of person. They're the ones that are gonna come in your business. They don't need to learn from you. They don't need to be told what to do. They know what they're doing. They're a professional. Now the professionals can be good if you leave them to it and you just support them when they need to be supported. But at the same time, professionals can also be bad because they know everything. They can't be coached. They don't wanna learn. They're not willing to speak to anybody. They know what they are doing. Hold my bad guys, I've got this. <laughs> and they're, the, you know, they're, but they're good. So let's now break it down in a positive way. How do you know when you're working with different types of people, how you can help each type of person? What you can do with them? Well, very simply put, the overnight success. You need to manage expectations. You need to let them know from day one, you know, what are your goals? How much money do you want to make from this? Set expectations. If they say a big, outrageous, audacious goal, you can let them know, okay, that's going to take a lot of time to hit that. Let's build you up in progressive steps. Let's hit goals in progressive steps. You're setting expectations. So they're not going to be like, oh man, this doesn't work. I'm going to quit him because it's hard work. It's not going to happen. The shiny object chaser. How do you chase those? How do you help those? You know, you avoid them. <laughs> they're ones that I don't want in my business. If I have someone coming to me and I look at their Facebook and I can see they're a shiny object chaser because you go back you know, a few posts or a couple of months and literally they're like bouncing, bouncing, bouncing company, next best thing, next best thing, next best thing. Nah, no thanks, because I know you're just gonna do the same here, you're gonna come into my company, you're gonna see the next best thing, rave about it, six months down the line you're gonna be off doing the same thing again. So I'd rather not the headache, thanks. <laughs> The librarian. How do you help the librarian? The librarians are usually the researchers and the readers because of one thing, one thing only. And it usually boils down to a confidence issue. That they don't want to be posting about the products. They don't want to be talking about the products. They don't want to be networking you because they're a bit fearful to get out there. So what you need to do is work with them, coach them, help those underlying problems. Help them do posts. Help them talk to people. Do a meeting with them. You know, do phone calls with them, Zoom calls with them. Help draft posts with them. Help them answer questions. Be in the group chats with them. Really link arms with them because guess what? The librarians are the ones that are going to be around in your business for a long, 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 long time. If you can help them and help build them properly. The bull in the china shops. If you have the positive ball, it's going to smash down everything. You know, I'm willing to learn and then they're reading, they're learning, they're through the getting started process like within the first hour of their business. They're posting, talking to people straight away. Those guys, get out of the way, let them run. But be there as a support and a safety net if they need you. Don't be there, don't get in their way because if you get in the ball's way, guess what? They're going to go negative ball. If you try telling them, don't do that, that's wrong, don't do that, that's wrong, but they're happy and they're getting volumes, and they're within the policies and procedures, and you're doing that, you're gonna turn them into the negative ball. They're gonna break things in a bad way. So don't do that with the balls. Support, be the safety net when they need them. The fake it to your makers. Sorry guys, you can't help them, because they, 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 they have the facade, they have the persona, you can't help them. So just leave them to it, try to support, try to coach, show them examples of what works and then they can see for themselves because guess what? Those guys need to see for themselves and make their own decision on what they're doing without being told what to do. They can't be coached so you need to just show them examples. Then the professionals. How do you help the professionals? Now the professionals are awkward ones because I've got this guys, I know what I'm doing. Hold my bag, I'm through, I'm done. It's very difficult to help those guys because they know it all. But again, very similar to the fake it to your makers, you need to show them examples of what works and what doesn't work. Because when they see what works, even if you've told them, they'll be the ones that figured it out. You can give them every single tool in the book that you built, you designed it, you helped them with. But they will be the ones that figured it out because they'll be the ones that made that decision. Now they're very powerful in your business if you keep them in a very positive manner and support them like the bulls when they need it. 
So when you figure out these type, different types of categories, and the different types of people that are gonna come into your business, it can help you work with them best. Because when you do work with these people best and you help them in a very positive manner and you support them, then they're gonna turn into something incredible. They're gonna evolve with skills added to their arsenal and they're gonna be incredible. The only ones to avoid is stay well clear of, shiny object chasers. We don't want the magpies in, we don't want the magpies, the shiny object guys, we don't want them in our business. But the other guys are very, very powerful tools. So I hope this video has helped. If it's helped, give me some feedback. If these categories relate to you, if you know someone like this, or if you need help with people that's in your business, by all means, pop me a message. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.